everybody and welcome back to Lost Souls. It's been a long time since my last episode, about five minutes. <laughs> I've gone straight on to record this one. So let's get on. What I wanted to do today is, well, I haven't made this sword and I'm pretty certain the sword might be quite good. It's, I, I'm finding it a little bit difficult to know which is best. But I think we need some prosperity shards. So hopefully we only need, now we've got plenty of them, we've got 64 and 6. So the sword that we want, I was looking at Abyssal Craft. Oh, that reminds me. I think we have to make this one. Necronomicon. Because a lot of this stuff's in gibberish, as you can see. Not all of it, but a lot of it's in gibberish. So I guess that's all we have to start with. What is it? Let's do this, because it's only two bits. It's just six rotting flesh, one book, and two iron ingots. I think we should be able to manage to do that one, no problem at all. And this always seems to be coming back again. I don't get it. I knock it off. Now, this next time I start the game up is back again. So that's the place I want. Maybe I'll have to move it around a bit and take it from the side. So we need five of these. Six, didn't I? Two and nine ingots and a book. I think books are not a problem. If they are, we can go and get some. Books here, 22 in there. And two iron ingots. Let's just get two iron ingots. The fish should have two. Well, the reason I left this. Um, termite clay in there it's actually quite useful i'm surprised but there we are uh, i'll show you that in a second so let's just do this one and i wonder if that means then we can actually see more of this stuff has it gone to still gone to gibberish well yeah, it's still gibberish isn't it <laughs> well it doesn't help me very much but i've thought of a way of getting rid of those mobs and the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to take a mob crusher with me and put down a power supply and see if we can get rid of them that way. Because <laughs> one, one hit should get rid of most of those. Um, let's have a look at this thing here. Do I actually have to open it up? Oh yes, forbidden knowledge. I guess this is what it's all about, yes. <laughs> it doesn't tell me anything about these yet. Maybe you have to make more of those things. Anyway, I shall leave that aside for one bit and pieces because I want to make the sword from um, magical uh, mystical agriculture so let's have a look for a supremium sword this one it's basically 21 attack damage which is fairly decent to start with so we need one of these stick done that before we will need one ingot got that already. We're going to need this one, which is going to require this one, which is going to require, and we've got to keep going down until we get to this one. What am I missing? One ingot of that, which I need to go and get that from the other chest here. Oh, wow. It means I've got to go all the way back again. In fact, for that matter, I need to get some of the stuff out of here, and I haven't got enough of what I need, because we've not got any of the su supremium, uh, su superior one hard pair of words there's not too much difference the blue ones I think we'll take eight oh, I'll take these 13 let's see how we get on with that lot I might need some more inferior essence for that matter let's just take a few out of here I think I've got enough of the rest of those they'll get stacked up fairly quickly because that's the first one in the levels They'll get done first, of course. So now... So I have to go back to this one, unfortunately, and keep going through these. So now the uses of this one. We could probably do it that way around. I think we make a core like this we do an inferior tool call and the uses of that one we should be able to make the next one up so we need a book block of lapis which we shouldn't have a problem with uses again gold ingots no big deal the uses of this one a block of gold we should have already have that as it happens because I've got gold blocks in here the uses of this one, 
What am I missing here? Block of diamonds. That shouldn't be a problem. Let's go and get a block of diamonds. Go a little bit faster. I don't know why I got a speed up here, so that one block of diamonds will do. It. And the last one will be four nether stars, won't it? And three skulls. Well, nether stars, I don't have a shortage of at the moment. Was it one nether star? Oh, it's only one nether star, isn't it? Ha! Huh. I should sort that chest. Three skulls we'll need uh, with the skulls. So let's look at the use of this one, and then we need the last one. So that goes there. This acts like a tool rug, and this acts like a sword blade. Then we get this one. Unlimited durability, so it doesn't break. The attack damage on this one is 14.6, so this is already up. But it won't be as fast. I don't think this swings as fast as the other one. I think you've got to go right back before it actually goes back. Well, the katana goes faster. But we can apply a charm to that. And the one I'd do is strength, I think. So we can do this one. What's this one require? Another blank. Okay, we need a block of supreme and some rares. Really, gets quite expensive, doesn't it, in terms of stuff? These ones are particularly expensive. So I've run out of everything. Great. So I need f those are what supreme apples. I got those already. We can use these ones. Oh, chest. Got 12 of those. But we haven't got enough. Um, ugh, I've run out of that already, haven't I? Superium essence. But I don't think we need much more than this. Let's just take half a stack of that just to be on the safe side. Oh, by the way. The uses of this basically acts like clay, so you can put four together and you know, cook it into bricks. It's quite nice, isn't it, really? S smell to it, or whatever. So, we can actually get a good way of making bricks. And that's something I'd like to cover in this episode. Something else I've never tried or never even seen, but it was to do with these flu things I've got in my possession. So, let's have a go at this one again. So, we need a strength charm. Like this, and then we need a strength 2 charm, which should be this one. Recipe for that one's this. Oh, okay, another four apples. Is that all? Okay. I was expecting things like nether stars and all the rest of it. Recipe for this one. Now we need four of those and three of these, and I've got only one more of those, don't I? So my prosperity shards have gone down a lot since I've done this one. Let's put the charm into there, put the sword into here, put these three around here, and put four around here like that. And then we have it with a strength two, unlimited durability, 41 attack damage. Well, I'm going to try this sword out. I'm not sure I'm going to try it out on yet, but I'm going to try it out <laughs> sometime. Let's go and put some of this stuff back in here. What don't I need? I'll keep these with me. I'll put those back in the chest in case I need to do any more magical, mystical agriculture stuff. So I'll put them in the right place. Like that. Didn't even need the wither, so let's put that away. I don't need these sticks either. Let's put those away up there. Yes, so it's these flu signs. And this is another way to teleport. I'll tell you what we'll do while we're doing that. Let's get this done. Let's get this cooked up. 64 will do it, and I'll put the rest in. 
Ah, we can make some blocks of clay with it, can't we? I'm actually short of one piece. Let's just do it like this. Haha, <laughs> didn't work very well, did it? So we get these bricks. Now these bricks, we can make bricks with it. <laughs> Brick, we can make bricks out of bricks. Like this. And I think we need six. But I ain't exactly sure. We also need a bean. Well, I, put, I planted some beans. We got some beans from before. Oh, I can't remember what it was. There must have been a reward at some stage or other. You know, I got some beans. I planted a bean here. Look, like this. those two be now ready. So let's just harvest these two. And I got three beans. So I can plant one of those beans like that, and then they can multiply up a bit. So if I plant one of those, like that, and we get three beans. How's this stuff doing in here? I have to check it once in a while. Oh, it's going down in water. That's interesting. Maybe I'll have to come back and fix the water, so it, make sure it's got enough water. I think I'll replace one of the water uh, seeds with a, an inferium seed. So now, if I look at the recipe for this thing here, we need this flow powder and it gives us 16. And each, and each teleportation of this will give us 16. Can I make some more of this one? I'm missing one end of pull, that's no big deal. Go and get one of those. Oh, it only gave me one that time. So now we're supposed to put it down. Let's go and try this. So what I understand is you make a fireplace with three blocks. So let's take two, three. And then in here we put the fireplace. And then I think we put the sign on top of this like this. In fact, let's tidy this up a bit. I'll take this one out of here. Put the overgrown one here like that. And then you're supposed to put this flow sign on this, I think. Let's see if we can right click it on there. Oh, yes, it works are flow bricks and then I believe you can teleport but I'm not sure exactly how <laughs> I've just done on it I thought it got a name so with these ones here you're supposed to be able to right click and select a destination well we haven't got one of those yet so I reckon that's not going to work <laughs> well there you go I'll have to read, do some more reading on that one. But we'll need another flow sign, any, a flu sign anyway, because you need it at both ends. In fact, for that matter, let's get some stone out of here. Got plenty of stone there. Because I want to go and make some stone bricks to put down as the base underneath the, um, uh, the, the new base. So I think that's probably a good idea. Let's just do that one. In fact, I don't need to do I can do that later on. Now the rest of the uses of this one is like this. So we need to make a sign. Which <laughs> hmm, that doesn't quite work, does it? Let's just do that over here. I'll take three more of these. I'll take the rest of these away. So a sign is I will do the same way uses of that one. Sign. It's just missing it's just missing the texture not really a big deal and then we can put around the sign of this we can put some more flow powder flu powder flow powder and we get another flow sign like this and we're supposed to be able to teleport between these ones I never tried it as I said before it would be interesting to see if we can get it to work so what the goal of oh, I think it's in here I'll make sure I don't forget it this one now do I have a power cell that's good two power cells that's even better a machine frame and a builder 
with a quarry. I think the builder's got it already programmed to do a, some digging. And the machine frame, what I would like to do is to make another mob crusher. But I think we'll do that another episode. And go back with those. Just put the mob crusher down because they're quite slow, those things. And we might be able to simply just grind them all straight away with the interdiction torch right now. Let's go to the overworld. Oh, let's go and get some more glass if we've got any ready. And there should be some more prepared in here. Oh, it's still running. That's oh, it's a lot. Okay, good. Let's just. Can I shift this up? No, no, I can't. I want that one with me. Don't want the bricks. Missed. Alright, good. So let's go off to the overworld again. So I've really got to find some charged Certis Quartz as well. That's going to be a bit of a pain. How much XP have we got? 12. That's no big deal. So let's go. We should be able to fly, shouldn't we? So we're over halfway now. He does use this stuff up really fast. Oh, look. It's just done that side quarter there. And that's empty. So what I'm going to do underneath here. Oh, I need to... Yeah, I'll do some self-crafting. It does make a difference. Like that. I'm going to put these on underneath here like this. And then we can use that as a, as a, as a bottom place. Now... I'm good. This is fine because even with the mobs, they're not going to be able to spawn on here, even with the glass on top of it, because they can only spawn on um, non transparent blocks. So if I go down like this, it's awkward. And then we should be able to fill this in with the, with the wand. And having infinite, having flight like this is no big deal. We can just go like this. Oh, it does a lot of area, doesn't it, this thing? So run out now, so we're just going to do the next 64. I'll do 128. And then it'll make the base easier to see as well. So let's just put... Oh, I can even... No, I don't want to go that way. I want to keep the actual outside right, don't I? So if you just come and do the outside, then the wand will fill in the rest. See what I'm doing. And then we can simply take the wand over here like this and just hit there. Get the slot selected. Put it start in here, do I? Yep. And more than likely it's going to run out of, of blocks. So let's just come over here and make sure we do these as well. I'm a bit far away. Weird. I have to be careful I don't do it underneath as I've got a lot of breaking to do and it'll take a while. I don't want to do that. But you see what I'm going to do. So I'm not going to do the rest of that now because that's a bit dull. But I'll do that off camera between episodes. So let's go and have a look. I'm sure I found a more interesting thing here's a shaft have I been down we haven't been down that shaft yet let's go a bit faster it must be in a mine shaft I discovered dead swamp but from up here you can see things quite nicely so that's quite good Sheep on a mushroom. <laughs> 128 blocks away. And it's coming up to night time. 
Oh yes, look. It doesn't really matter in a shaft, to be honest with you. So what we should look for in here is some more Certis Quartz. There's one piece. Is it charged? No, it's just ordinary Certis Quartz. Well, I'll keep my uh, ore excavation key down just in case. That's a bit slow, this pickaxe. Isn't it? Well, we did pick it up, that's the important thing. There's lots of tin down here. But this was an interesting construction. Now, I know there's a mob in here, but I don't know if there's anything else interesting in here. Ooh, there's no mob in here. Oh, yes, there is. Well, <laughs> let's have a look, see how well this sword does now. 98, 92 is going down fast, but uh, I think it's attacking me with something or other. Right, yes, I thought there was more in it, but I don't know what he does. So that didn't take any damage, but I suspect the, the armour does a bit, so that's a bit of a problem. I don't like that very much. So what are these archaic brick structures? Have they got any uses? Is there anything underneath them? I did look around and I didn't see anything. But there were no sort of hidden chests or anything like that in here that I could see. So I'm going to have to do some more research onto Abyssal Craft. It's or Abyssal Craft, I'm not sure it's exactly pronounced, but doesn't seem to be anything in here of interest. Now, what have we... Oh, there's a bat there. With a the bat, of course, I might be able to get a bat wing, so let's just try that one. Where's he gone to? Let's do this. Let's back onto the mine shaft. That's a dangerous hit. Yes, I saw you. Where have you gone to? Oh, there. Wow. It's got more than 41 health. I don't believe it. <laughs> I'm going to pick up. Just some raw bat meat, that's fine. And these creepers can't see us. Look, hello creeper. Because I put the creeper charm on, so it's just great. We've got to here. Now that one can see me. Rutalo, we want that. He's quite tough, this one, isn't he? How much has he got health wise? Oh, I already said that. We want Rotalo for uh, and this one. Ender ore, okay, I've not got any of that. That's new, let's take some ender ore. And I saw another one of those mobs just there. Oh, some more Rotalo. Right, okay, let's go and get this. Because this. No, that's the lithium ore, isn't it? That's another one that's very important for. Um, Advanced uh, rocketry. Okay, good. I think that stopped the flow. Somebody shooting at me. Okay, you are. Right. <laughs> I've got two at the same time. That's uh, interesting. What have I picked up there? A root. A bat wing. Okay, fantastic. Now, the bat wing is very useful. Because that allows you to make interdiction torches if you haven't got any already. And I haven't cut... I have cut off the flower, I thought. I was just going down very slowly. Quite a lot of interesting ores around here. Thank you. Cooked bat meat. Oh, how did I do that? <laughs> it 
So what do I have? We have some uranium ore here, and some presumably this is more nitro ore. Oh, okay, let's take some of this. I've not got that yet either. Probably better if I landed, wouldn't it? Try again. That'll be uranium ore, which I don't think we need. Not with, not with what we've got already. Silver ore. Gosh, I'm waiting for this retail ore because that's probably about the only way we're going to get it. This will be more some more ender ore. I'll take this. I presume it's got purpose. Oh, what's that one? <laughs> Another bug. What one is it? This one. An endermite. Okay. It's going to be an ex endermite in a second. There it goes. And we've got full of stuff again. Let's get rid of some of these bricks. Oh goodness, it gets so full so quick. Right, good. I'm still not gone yet. I've got to wait for this to go down. There's more mushrooms in here. Any second now, oh, what's that down there? That's black quartz ore again, isn't it? Let's just eat this. Well, Glossy is just amazing. <laughs> okay, good. I've probably got enough black quartz ore now, but let's just put it away. Can we put in here? Eight. Okay, good. That's interesting because it did get picked up. Must have been the thing. So we really just need to find some charged certis quartz, is what I'm looking for. What's this stuff? Doesn't tell me. Okay, good. Some more dilithium. Oh, that's an excellent find, actually. I don't know whether there's a way to make that later on, but uh, for the time being, it's an excellent find. Couple we don't care about. Oh, look at this one. We've got another big, a big boy. Let's attack this big boy. <laughs> he's throwing stones at me. <laughs> I think he's missing. Let's go up a bit higher, make sure he is missing. Oh. That creeper has killed him. What's he dropped? Obsidian. Okay. So I presume it was the obs he dropped obsidian. Oh yes, he was throwing TNT, wasn't he? So he blamed him. <laughs> Even better. Right. I'm not going to. I'm not going to miss the opportunity. It's probably a bit dull for you, isn't it? When I'm doing this. But of course while I'm standing in the air it takes a lot longer to mine stuff. Another one of these things, or was that the same one as last time? Well oh it's a passage way down there. Let's go and have a look at this one. Well that's some more so I just caught over. Let's go and get that. What do we pick up? Just ordinary so I caught yes. So a spider. I don't think the spiders can actually see me. I'm not sure if that's a cave spider or not. It looks like it's following me. Oh. I don't think that. Oh, it's a magical one here. That's the other one. I don't want to get that one. I want to get this one here. I think that's a cave spider. Oh, something. Oh, full inventory. Tell you what, let's switch over to this. Actually, let's switch over to this one. There's no space. There's plenty of spaces in here. I don't need that either. Or that one for that matter. Let's 
So what have we got here? Something smoking. A sword that's flying around by itself. That's interesting. Seems to have killed it wherever it was. I don't know whether these spiders can see me or not. I know the purple ones can. But with anti-venom it's not so bad. new let's pick up that as well not the dilithium well that's not new but this one is whoop whoop or my goodness whoop whoop or tiny progressions okay oh, it's so nice not having to worry about creepers <laughs> Actually, quite a lot of retail ore down here. It's quite. It's actually very good. Black quartz. I don't think we need much more black quartz than we've got already. So we can we can make a seed out of that. I think anyway, if I haven't done already, which I might have done. Okay, let's just use this. There's some spiders. Oh, the magical one down there. I don't like that, these magical ones very much, I will be honest with you. I got him because I'm good. Right, so he can see me good, so I can get this one in that case. This charge so it's called so what on earth is that over there? It's blue. Well that was good. <laughs> Whatever it was. Oh, it's one of these chests. Yes, I've seen these before. These are basically drop something. A black one I've not seen before. It's going to be hard to kill, I guess, but I'm, f I'm forgetting I haven't got the um, the right weapon with me. Just put the katana in a different place. These are basically a uh, so I can get a bit nearer to it. A mimic. That's going down slowly. Hit it. That's right, and they drop this thing, this mimic, a mi mimic orb. Well, I also got three hearts from somewhere. So let's carry on and see if we can find some charge set discords. That's the purpose of today's little mission, isn't it? I've not been down here. Diamond door, well, you know. Normally I'd go, wow, fantastic, but today I'm just going to go, oh. Oh, we've got something else over here. What's we got over here? Destabilized redstone ore. Oh, that's different. Let's take some destabilized redstone off if we can reach it. I want to watch out for that lava there. Take it off. So let's take the silk tuck pickaxe and all mine this or all ah. Did I pick any of that up? 
six. Okay, good. And the rest you get a bucket's worth of it. Huh? Okay. What have we got here? Some more. It's char Hopefully it's charged. No, it's just ordinary. Some more redstone or just ordinary redstone. Oh, we don't really need redstone, so I'm going to leave that. Oh, look at this thing over here. That's a book. It's definitely a mob, and it's generally not a very nice mob. But it does drop a nice enchanted book. And another chest. What have we got here? Heartstone crystal. Earth is up. Okay. <laughs> Oh, this chest, I don't know. Another light one, too. I'm going to wait for him to go out a bit, if I can. I'm not sure how much health he's got. Oh. Well, I'm sure I don't want these. Leather boots and cool. Oh, she's both enchanted. What's he got on it? I'm breaking protection for them. Not very exciting. Let's have a look at what this one is. Stealing, scaling health. Okay. So what do we do with this stuff then? Nothing. Fantastic. Maybe you drop it. Maybe it drops hearts or bash it with a normal pickaxe. Lapis azuli. What have we got here? Redstone ore, and we got some more woo woo. Wub wub ore. <laughs> what else have we got in here? I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll just do a little bit of eating. And we'll just take out the big hammer. Oh, have I got stone in here? I wonder if I've got stone in my. What's that over there? A bat. That was where I did the uh, stuff, wasn't it? So, have I got my hammer with me, or did I leave that back in base? I probably left that back in base, didn't I? Oh, no, I haven't. I've got it with me. Good. So, let's just see if we can find anything else exciting in here. It's a bit slow, of course, but... Probably the thing I want to do, really, is to set up a builder, don't I? How much time have I forgotten? 37 minutes. Okay, I'm full up with stuff. Let's just make sure that I'm not completely full up. Let's shift right click this and put the stone in here. Like that. Picked up some more stone then. Okay, I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's quickly go back to the overworld portal. Done a little exploring today. The rest of them I'm going to have to do it by myself. And we're going to set up this reactor now, I think. I want it to step over here where we can basically see. So I think here's a good starting point. So let's. You see, it's invisible glass, but that doesn't matter too much. Let's remove this stuff in here that I've got lots of now, which is excellent. And then we've got the overworld stuff is actually here, isn't it? Ooh. I put it in this chest over here, didn't I? Well, I've got to do it at the other side. But I have got my chest transporter with me. Let's go and get that out. Probably in this one here, like that. 17 stone, let's just chuck this in there. We picked up with the, on the thing, yes, that's good. Let's pick up the chest transporter. Oh, what's the book? Airtight seal. Oh, no, that's actually not too bad. I don't know what we do with airtight seal. It's one of these enchants. It sounds like it's got something to do with um, advanced rocketry, but I don't suspect it has because it doesn't tell you on this thing. Let's walk to the end here until we get to the glass here. I can put it down there. Oh, not worth picking it up again. Let's move that out of the way. Because you get slowness and all sorts of stuff with this. So, 64. So, we're going to get everything out of there. Not quite. Okay, now. So, 
So it's a five by four structure I want, isn't it? I should have made some glass on this one because you can then see inside it. So it's a five by five. And I've actually even prepared the glass as well. But what I'll do is I'll come down between episodes, I'll just fill it in. In fact, it might be better to do it with this one. Right, that's the, that's the base laid out. So we then need solid corners, and we've got four high, so that'll be the end of this. One more block on top of here like that. And then we can go across. If my memory serves me correctly. Well, you know what it's like. So that's the framework. Five, yep. And I don't know how much RF this thing's going to produce for us. I'm not even sure if it's ideally set up either, so we'll, I'll fill it out with, fill it in, leave the roof, uh, oh, no, I don't want to fill it completely in, do I? I want to leave one side here. So let's put in here the controller. What have we got here? That's the reactor controller. I'm going to put that in the middle of here like that. I'm going to put the two access ports. I'm not sure whether I should put those either side of it. But I'm going to do it like that for the time being. One of these wants to be an input port, so let's just make this one an input port. Outlet mode, sorry, outlet. This is inlet, that's outlet. Simply right click it to do that. And here we could probably put a power tap. The control rods go in the middle at the top, I think. So we just fill it in now. on this side, don't I? Can I get to this side? I have to do it from the inside here. Because I've got my climbing glove with me, it's, it's easy enough. So I've got 11 left. I should put some cooling in this one as well. But first of all, I want to find out whether it's going to work. So it's two rods down, and well, I've got three blocks extra. I suppose that's inevitable, isn't it? <laughs> Shooting it at the same time. Let's just uh, go up here. I should be able to go up here now. And then we put the control rod on it, and then it should form. Reactor control rod. I just click that too. There. And sure enough, it works good. So now it just needs some eulorium and some cooling. I've got to put some cooling in this. I ain't sure what I'm going to use for cooling fluids. Probably, I've got a choice, haven't I? I've got seeds and all the rest of it. We could test it out there. Let's just put in a little bit of eulorium. I've got one, but I've got one ingot of eulorium. Air cooled for the time being would probably be all right. Where's it gone to here? Oh, it's already taken those off. Didn't see it take them all. So over here we've basically got this fueled up. So if we turn it on, or to eject waste, that's probably a good thing to do. Activate reactor. What's it generating? That's the core heat. So let's disable the reactor. How much RF has it created? Huh, I didn't see it. Let's just turn it on again. <laughs> so it's producing 200 or 300 RF per tick. I don't like the don't like this temperature going up. I've got to put some cooling on it. So I shall do that between episodes. I think because we're already at 44 minutes. So and until next time. Well, we've got to go and find some more stuff. It seems so funny standing on this clear glass from Tinker. Tinker's construct. Anyway, until next time, I'm going to say bye for now.